Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShot.com, EscapeRoomElectronics.com, and PaintballProps.com. This is my newest prop, and uh, it is a, uh, an extendable RFID-based um, electromagnetic lock and high-power external circuit controller with LCD. Uh, there is room for customization here, so please feel free to inquire. But I've written a basic code for this, and I wanted to show it off. And I'm going to get right to the demonstrations uh, as soon as I, I'm done introducing the hardware. I've got a project box with the antenna mounted on the inside the RFID antenna which connects to the RFID uh, controller board. Extremely easy to reprogram and program in your own cards. Uh, this set comes with some cards. I just want to show you the kind of cards that would be included. These standard 125 kilohertz RFID cards and these awesome little guys, what they are, are uh, tiny RFID cards, 125 kilohertz, that have a, an adhesive strip on the back so you can actually uh, essentially glue it to items which can be placed on top of the receiver. This is your standard electromagnetic lock which connects to the LCD board and this is the mounting hardware. The uh, one There's a one meter long USB cable that plugs into both the uh, RFID antenna board and the LCD board and it also comes with a 12 volt 2 amp power supply which I've got plugged into my wall right now, which I will be plugging in during our demonstration. So I've already programmed in these two tags, or I've programmed in one tag, sorry. The other tag doesn't do anything, and this tag doesn't do anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a demonstration right now, as it stands. I'm just going to uh, plug this in. This comes in right underneath. Now you might have trouble seeing the RFI, the, the, uh, the uh, uh, LCD, and I'll zoom in on that in a minute. Um, but right now it's saying awaiting card data, valid card data. So I'll use this card. It's not programmed in. <coughs> Access denied invalid card. Now I forget which one is the deactivation card. The nice thing about this, you just place it on top. <coughs> Access granted, door unlocked. So this tag is not, uh, this tag is not uh, programmed. And after 10 seconds, the uh, electromagnetic lock becomes activated again. It's very strong. So if I t this these what's neat about these cards is you can actually just place them on top, and it takes a few seconds. But access denied, invalid card. So this this specific tag I've programmed into the reader, and I'm going to show you how to do that after I show you the LCD uh, in just a minute. So this is the proper card. Give it a few seconds. Access granted, door unlocked. So after 10 seconds, this current program, after 10 seconds, the electromagnet becomes energized again. So let me give you a close-up of the LCD. On power up, RFID security, door lock. Awaiting valid card data. Now I have to angle this at the camera at the right angle so that I can actually see it. To the human eye, it's very easy to see, but my camera it doesn't seem to like this too much. So I'll place an incorrect card on top, uh, access denied, invalid card, and eventually it goes back to awaiting valid card data. I'll place the right card on top of the reader, access granted, door unlocked. And after 10 seconds when the electromagnetic lock is re-engaged, the, uh, LCD, the LCD says awaiting valid card data again. If I want to program in a new card, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this jumper. First I'm going to power down and I'm going to remove this jumper and as you can see there is a five pin header here that is vertical. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the second and third pin from the bottom with a jumper, leaving this pin empty and these two pins empty, and I'm going to power up. And after power up, I'm going to take whatever card I want to program into my reader, and the blue LED stays on. So that card is programmed into EEPROM memory. So now I'm going to remove power, and I'm going to change the jumper setting again. After you've saved and powered down, after saving the card, you want to connect the bottom two pins on that 5-pin rail and leave the top three empty. 
Now when I power up, the new card is programmed in. And the other cards do nothing. So the reader programs in one RFID card into EEPROM memory and uh, all other cards will not work. So this is for an escape room, specifically. As with many of my props, I like to use relays to allow for the user to customize their experience. Would you like to use an electromagnetic lock or would you rather use the relay to control high power AC or DC devices? In this case, as with most cases, there's two terminal blocks. The relay terminal block and then the electromagnetic terminal block. Electromagnetic lock terminal block. Say that ten times fast. And if you're going to use the electromagnet, you add the two jumpers to these two enable headers. If you're going to use the relay output, or the output terminal, you have to remove those jumpers because those jumpers uh, mix the DC, uh, the DC positive and the ground to these pins. So if you want to use the electromagnetic lock, connect those two headers and connect your electromagnetic lock here. There are two pins, BLK and RED. BLK obviously for black, RED obviously for red. So let's talk about the relay output and how you can use it to control AC devices. Here's a better view of the two terminals. As you can see, RED, BLK, both of my headers are empty. Now, this is upside down, but you can't see it easily from the other side. So we've got three terminals here. With those two jumpers removed, we're allowed to use this relay as we please, as an isolated high-powered switch that's controlled by the software and the other digital circuitry. There's NO, CO, and NC. When the relay is off, by default, and these two headers or jumpers are removed, the common pin, CO, is connected internally via big trace to the NC pin, normally closed. When the relay turns on, the common pin disconnects from the NC pin and connects over to the NO pin. So imagine an on-off switch. If you want something to turn on when the relay is on, you, uh, you, you connect the two severed leads to CO and NO. When the relay turns on, it connects them internally and completes the circuit. You can do that with the hot wire of an AC cable line or say a, D, a DC, a positive DC source that would control a motor or whatever. If you wanted the power to be on by default and turn off when the relay turns on, you would take your, your uh, wire or your power line, you'd sever it, connect one here and one here, and when the relay is off, power flows from common to normally uh, normally closed to NC, and then disconnects when the relay turns on because the common pin reconnect or connects to the NO pin when the relay is on. So what I'm going to show you now is the RFID connector, the USB connector. There's also a button here and some jumpers that allow for me to configure software. This is where customization comes in. If you want some customization, you want the LCD to say certain things, you let me know through uh, our contact pages at either engineeringshock.com, escaperoomelectronics.com, or paintballprops.com. Just send us a message and uh, let me know how I can help you customize this prop to suit your room. In any case, that's the video. Thank you for watching. Check us out. Uh, check out our main product page if you're an escape room owner at escaperoomelectronics.com. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy holidays, everybody.